Shortly. There's one thousand of the runway. Okay, let's dive into something major happening in advanced aviation. A big White House initiative uh, really pushed two key players, Archer and Joby, right into the spotlight. We're talking about President Trump's executive order. It set up the EV Toll Integration Pilot Program, or EIPP. Its whole goal is speeding up these next-gen aviation technologies. And what's really interesting, you know, is how the EIPP works. It's run by the DOT and FAA. They're basically creating these um, pre-certification zones for EV tolls, mm -hmm. electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. So companies can start real world ops, gather data, talk to communities, even before full commercial sign off. Right. So it's like a fast track, de-risking things a bit to get air taxis flying sooner in the U.S. Exactly. It cuts down some of the lead time and uncertainty. If you like our videos and you're going to support our channel, you can buy me a coffee. Scan the QR code on screen or hit the link in the description to buy me a coffee. Okay, so for our deep dive today, let's unpack what this means right now for Archer and Joby. All right, let's start with Archer Aviation. They've got their midnight aircraft. They're already looking at trial operations under this new EIPP program. And they're planning to partner up, right? With yeah. airlines like United. Yes, exactly. United's a key partner here. Remember, United invested way back in 2021. They saw the potential then for changing how passengers move around cities. Now it feels much closer. And the EIPP gives that vision a clearer path. It's not just an investment anymore. It's a regulatory runway to actually do it. Archer's trials, they'll be focusing hard on safety, quietness, scalability too. Those are vital for getting communities on board. Makes sense. Adam Goldstein, Archer's CEO, he called it a landmark moment, thinks it'll help cement U.S. leadership here. It certainly provides a framework for that leadership. And we couldn't have done that without the leadership of the secretary, um, the president of the United States. And I'm extremely grateful, um, you know, for all their support for this industry. I do think that this today is a, an incredible moment and one that will actually be remembered where the companies came together. The regulators came together, the administration came together, and all as one defined what the future of aviation is going to look like. I'm very grateful. Thank you. So this is where it gets interesting for the market, right? The price targets. Archer's stock is, what, around $8.75 now? But analysts are looking higher post-EIPP. Yeah, the average target has jumped to about $13.43. There's real confidence this program speeds things up, gets them certified faster, maybe grab early market share. And there's even talk of a bullish case, maybe 15 to 18 dollars. That's the scenario if they really lead the EIPP trials with United and Midnight performs, you know, exceptionally well. OK, but can't all be smooth sailing, even with the EIPP. What are the potential uh, speed bumps? Well, the EIPP helps with deployment, but the full FAA type certification that's still a huge hurdle. It's incredibly rigorous, safety, airworthiness. That process doesn't just disappear. And Archer isn't the only one racing. Let's talk Joby Aviation then. They're also going full steam ahead with the EIPP. And Joby's arguably in a very strong position. They've got a massive head start on testing. Over 40,000 miles flown, nearly 600 flights just this year. And they're deep into that FAA certification stage four of five. Stage four already? Wow. Yeah, they're quite far along. Their chief policy officer, Greg Bowles, talks a lot about their readiness. They want to bring services to communities quickly, deliver early operations. And they're working with local governments, Texas, Florida. Ohio, New York, California, too. They're building those relationships. Plus, critically, they're scaling up manufacturing. In California and Ohio, that means actual U.S. jobs strengthening the supply chain. Okay, so for Joby, stock's around $14 now. What's the bullish target look like there? Could be significantly higher. Some analysts see $25, maybe even $30. That's tied to starting trials early next year, hitting stage five FAA cert and locking down more city and airport partnerships. Their operational track record really helps that story. OK, so wrapping up our deep dive, President Trump's EIPP has clearly injected serious energy into companies like Archer and Joby. It's accelerating things reshaping market views on the future of air travel. No doubt. The promise is huge, transforming local economies, daily life. But, you know, it really depends on these trials succeeding. 
getting solid data and crucially getting communities to accept and integrate this smartly. Right. That community acceptance is key. So here's a final thought for you to chew on. As cities start planning for these technologies, what role will local communities actually play? How do they shape this future transport? And could it fundamentally change a city's identity, its economic future for generations? Thanks for watching and subscribe for more. See you in the next video, guys. Peace out.